Okay, so my name is Justice Oso Ajman. I'm Anthony Mensah Okay, so our group is Spirit Lab, and then we worked on an IoT, which is an Internet of Things smart energy system. So basically what we found out was that um, most people have problems controlling their lighting systems. Maybe they tend to forget that maybe their lights were on when they left the room. So then we came up with an, a smart system that its main purpose is just to save energy. So what we built basically controls your lighting system in the room. So once you enter the room, it detects your presence, then turns on the light. Once you leave the room, it detects that you are not there anymore, so it turns off the light. So this project was kind of very tough because we had to build a hardware part and also a software part. So our software part was where we had to provide real-time data, where the person can see how much current is flowing through the light, the power and everything. And interfacing the two was very, very challenging because you have a hardware and you have a software. Being able to interface, it was really challenging, but we did a great job. The, the first one had to do with our hardware was written, part of it was written in Python, then the other was written in C++. So being able to actually communicate the hardware to the software, sometimes it wasn't that strict, but we were able to play our way around it and then we had it right. Now to talk about Hack Lab, how do we even get to know about it? Okay, actually it was him. Uh, we, we heard of it, Eldad. Is it Eldad? Yeah, yes, Eldad. Or Eldad. Eldad. Eldad, okay. He, he was the one who said it was going to be a hackathon, something like that. So we we're like, okay, um, maybe we could just give it a try and see. So we came for the first day and then we saw that, oh, once we entered, we we're like, oh, we saw some people doing some great things. So initially, we actually wanted to back off, like, because we saw people doing great stuff. So we were like, oh, what, what is what we have going to actually uh, do here? Because then we told everybody that, okay, let's give it a try. So we decided to work on our stuff, work on the hardware part and then the software part. Uh, most especially when everyone is doing software and you are the only one all doing hardware. Yeah. Because we believe there will come a time that um, everything within our environment to be smart and where AI is actually increasing and we have machine learning also, our rooms, our street lights, everything will change. So there's a need for such smart systems, at least for now. And you can see most people were just doing mobile apps, but we saw that, okay, we can do a mobile app plus our hardware. So then we can have the two-way communication. That actually makes us engineers, not computer science students, you know, yeah. So it makes us real engineers. And that's exactly what real engineers do. That's, that's what we did. So the whole program has been really good. Actually, it's been very good and I really love it. It was actually productive. Yes, it is. You imagine coming over in a day to write a whole program on the, on the software part. We did that in a, in a day. Yesterday, that was, yeah, yesterday from morning, we had to write everything, the mobile app, the web, we had to write everything yesterday, just straight on point, just typing like that. But the program has been really good and we want to encourage others who are maybe who have very nice ideas, but because, you see sometimes most people think that if you present your idea, someone might take or steal your idea, but no the one can do your idea better. That is true. No one can actually produce what you actually want your idea to actually be like in reality. So that is why and my God's grace we want. So for the best idea. So we are so grateful for that. Okay, um, you know, I'm a lazy guy. Actually, I am. I am so lazy. In a sense that I realize that my room I have to be buying prepaid more often. And sometimes because I'm busy, I tend to leave my room without putting on the lights. So I, I, I decided to build a miniature in my room to test to see whether it works or not. I tried it and actually it conserved my whole electricity for a whole three months. I just used 20 cities worth of prepaid and it was really cool. But it wasn't that, it was very, yeah, 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 it wasn't that yet. But then we told it that, okay, then we could actually look at the big picture of it. By then it was just the hardware parts, no software, some of the things were not really even working better. So then when the, we heard about the hack club, then we decided to actually build something which is really cool and then can be demonstrated to others to see how 
smart energy systems, our smart energy system actually works. So basically that was that. So what the miniature I did in my room, actually I'm lazy for, for the past three months, for that small one, that wasn't this. I, I, I've actually not turned my lights on and off in my room. Once I enter, it just turns the lights on. I leave and then automatically it turns the lights off. So it saves me time. And when, I, when it detects I'm not around and I'm asleep, it goes off. So that is really awesome. And then we hope that these things can be actually uh, deployed on a large scale to help conserve energy.